In past years, Shop with a Cop has meant police officers taking deserving kids shopping for what's on their Christmas wish lists. This year, some changes had to be made for it to happen safely. We've had to kind of get creative and come up with a pandemic version of it. Uh, our plan this year is to bring the families to City Hall one at a time. And we're going to have a conference room decorated very Christmassy and um, have a tree. And I'm going to actually go shopping for these kids before they come in. And so when they get here, the gifts will be under the tree and all ready for them to unwrap. Eight families with 21 kids have been nominated this year. Shop with a Cop is a good thing for both the police officers and residents. It's a great way to, to maintain a positive relationship between uh, law enforcement and the community. And more so it's important because there's so, many, there's so many deserving families in our community that need a little extra help around Christmas. The generosity that the community has shown for us to be able to put on an event like this has been overwhelming. Um, even in times that where people are struggling, um, I can't believe how generous people have been. The New Hope Police Department is working on expanding their community engagement even further. It'll be from the kids to seniors and every age in between. And if you have, if anybody has any ideas on how we can um, help any program or help our community engagement in any way, shape or form, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself, uh, reach out to Chief Hoyt or anybody on the New Hope PD and um, we'll, we'll make that a priority. We're making uh, our relationship with the community a priority. If you have ideas for new community engagement activities, email Officer Calio at bcalio at newhopemn.gov. Learn more about The Connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.